Right, so here is the new Windows Phone 8. Here, uh, there was an event on the 28th, something like that, 20, uh, recently, last week. Uh, so what's new here? What do you think is new? Uh, it's Windows Phone 8, which uh, adds a lot of the features, which Windows Phone has been missing up until now. But it, it still keeps the, the uh, interface, which is um, its most distinctive feature, since it's so different from iOS and so different from Android. I hope I'm not clicking through some personal no, stuff. No, go for it. No? Uh, so uh, the biggest issue is just there are a lot of things that don't work on it. They, they say that most of the major applications are there or coming to it, but Instagram doesn't work on it, Path doesn't work on it. Um, they need to, to get the popular stuff working. So what version of Android is running? No, that's not, this is just fine. But joke, not funny. <laughs> but, so HTC, did they talk about pricing and stuff? Uh, I, I'm not sure if they've released pricing for this or even the exact day of availability, but it's coming to uh, at and Coming to at and They showed some other brands? Samsung? Uh, yeah, Samsung and Nokia are both doing phones as well. So it's totally before Christmas, Windows 8? This should be out shortly, yeah. Do you know the CPU? Is it newer, faster? Well, the, the first round of Windows phones were on somewhat bare bones hardware in some cases. And I'm, I'm not sure what processor is in here, but it's, it's plenty speedy. Uh, it seems fast. What do you think about these phones compared to Android and iPhone? You know, I, I think it, I worry that it, they prove there's only room for two mobile operating systems because iOS and Android are so deeply entrenched that even if you're as good as Windows Phone is, it's a challenge to get going. Uh, in terms of originality and smoothness, so they've done a great job. All right. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it looks like a new UI, but uh, the, the main difference between this and the previous one is... They've just built out, they've built out a lot of the features. It's, the interface is basically the same, but um, they have a new Maps application using Nokia's data. Um, they have more integration with SkyDrive and other Microsoft services. They have a, a service basically hand your phone over to your child and they can only use the apps that you allow them to use and they can't mess up your phone. All right. Cool. So this is like...